Cybertruck out here in Indio, California, and there's a cyber tr and kilowatts. Is what? What? What are you doing here? Filling up my new Cybertruck. Oh. Ah, heat up. Fresh, 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 fresh door mark. <laughs> We're getting to San Francisco at like 4 a.m. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so capable. What's your favorite feature now that you own it? We've got our own problems. Well, I. I, I <laughs> It's right around there. So does that in imply a name for number two or? Uh, uh, yeah. But anyway, maybe I took it the wrong way. But uh. Oh yeah, because you just picked it up, what, two days ago? Hardly, yeah. Hardly. Almost exactly 20, oh, sorry, 48 hours ago. And how many miles have you done so far? Just over 1,500. Woo. Yeah. But you're not driving alone, right? Correct. Okay. My father's somewhere there in the distance. All right. I don't know if he wants to be on camera, but Hello, Ryan's dad. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, how are you liking your Cybertruck? It's been great so far. I mean, uh, driving, it's been easy. 1,500 miles with only like seven, eight hours of sleep. Like, it's been just really comfortable, quiet, smooth. I mean, there's a lot of superlatives to this truck. Yeah. And I, I don't think that the quiet and comfortability gets talked about enough. So yeah. That's where I'm at. Like, that was so far so good. And we're going to, Finish up the road trip. We're getting to San Francisco at like 4 a.m. tonight. It's what, seven ish now? Yeah. Almost seven o'clock yeah. now. And so, like, five hours yeah. more? Here, by the way, in India. I think yeah, India. Yeah, yeah, India, California. And yeah. by the way, I knew he was coming. As soon as I saw he was going to pass through this area, you I was like, was going to be here? Well, I. I, I know you're going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, riding in Will's truck, you d you, it is very smooth and quiet. Like, yeah. it's, you know, to me, I don't know how if you compare it, but a lot of people are comparing it to the Model X. And I feel like it's better than Model X, at least as a passenger. I think it is. I think the, the best metric for it for people is like at 65 miles per hour, 70 miles per hour, talking at a relatively like, you know, right now my voice is raised because of the fans. Let's, the go, let's go away from those fans. Sure. Let's go. And plus, yeah. we got to get the front so of the like, truck in a, here too. A, a great test is like in whatever car you're in right now at like 65-ish miles per hour, try talking at a normal volume mm -hmm. without raising your voice at all for the people in the back. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you can do that really for the X, especially the third row. But the, yeah, obviously this doesn't plus the it. flexing in the frame. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I have no problem. At least we didn't initially have any problems <laughs> talking to people in the second row at just a normal unraised mm -hmm. volume at highway speeds. Yeah. Yes. If there's like a lot of like road debris or if it's like a pretty bumpy road, then it starts to get challenging in the X. I it, it's right around there. So I think mm -hmm. doing that test, focusing on back to front, that's where you notice that this is actually probably quieter. Yeah. And also uh, you, you feel like uh, you know, it's it's much stiffer over speed bumps. It's you know feels much more solid than I. It, I mean, yeah, ex ex extremely. And, and the the car itself, as you're saying, almost like the body flex in that situation is quieter mm -hmm. for sure. So now that you've driven it, you know, literally more than some people have had it for a whole week yet. Um, <laughs> what's your favorite feature now that you own it and you've been driving it for a little while? I mean, it's hard to say because I've only been driving it for like road tripping, and mm -hmm. obviously it doesn't yet have uh, autopilot or mm -hmm. full self driving. So adaptive cruise control is my favorite driver assistance feature. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Um, I mean, like it, it's kind of like just at this point been showing it off. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is like, you know, I've kicked it. There's a, my, my door mark or uh, my foot mark on the door over there. I wonder if we can uh, see it. <laughs> probably still can. Oh, uh, it's covered in other dirt now, but somewhere in there. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Ah, heat up. Fresh, 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 print. fresh door mark. <laughs> so. You know, just the fact that it's so tough, um, it, it's so capable. I've been having my backpack in the front trunk. Um, you know, my dad for a while, when we were with uh, Jordan down in uh, like South Padre, he was in the in the back and just like, there's so much space in the second row. Yeah. Um, Very comfy. Yeah. I, I actually, I actually really like the middle seat. It's, I mean, it's not, you know, the back is a little straight and stiff, but the actual like, you know, butt part of it, you feel like snug in there. Yeah. You know? no, I, th I think overall it's somewhere between comfort and ruggedness. It's, it's this really weird juxtaposition. The outside, you know, it's tough as steel and the inside is just kind of, <laughs> kind of plush. So yeah. it's, it's this really weird dichotomy where again, like people say it's like not a workman's truck. I, I, I get some degrees of that, but it's so capable. It's like, you know, as long as you take your gloves off once you get in it, <laughs> yeah. then uh, it's, it's great. Well, so. and you already have the floor mats too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Came with were those mats. the Tesla floor mats or? Yeah. The, the Tesla rugged floor mats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah floor yeah. mats are a must, especially you already, you took it on the beach already, right? Yeah. We drifted <laughs> uh, the morning after we got it. Uh, we went to sunrise at, uh, down at Starbase and uh, drifted it on the beach a little bit. Got some good photos that I've not yet seen. They've not been fully processed yet. But uh, what I did see, like just looking at the camera, it was pretty great. Nice. So uh, th there's a special name for this truck, right? Yeah. Well, I, I named it Rock. 
Uh, but spelled R O K. R O K. Referencing Grok. Ah. Referencing Earth. Referencing like what it looks like. It looks kind of like a rock. Right. Uh, but yeah, like you know, especially being down at SpaceX where we picked it up, uh, it just it felt like the the best name for it. So does that in, imply a name for number two? Or uh, I, hope, I hope not. Because if I name it Roll, we've got our own problems. Yeah. So uh, not, fortunately, it's uh, very stable uh, on hard turns. So I don't expect any of these to roll anytime soon. But uh, but uh, yeah. well, I've meant rolling down the road, like cruising. You know. Uh, maybe I took it the wrong way. But that, that's why I'm thinking not roll. But maybe yeah, cru- rock cruising. And roll. Yeah, rock, I mean, yeah, you can have two. Cybertruck. I should name you it. might as well be rock yeah, and roll, okay. man. We'll let, we'll let the viewers vote. If it should be rock and roll or shouldn't be rock and roll, let us know. <laughs> well, it's been great to see you, Ryan. Yeah. Always a pleasure to see you. Hope to see you again soon. Absolutely. Cybertruck or not, it's always great to see you. Thanks, and Bob. stay tuned for the next video. Cybertruck or not. Take care. Bye. <laughs> We've got our own problems.